What is going on guys, Iron Flash here, and I'm here to do another reaction, and I have finally gotten to this one. The Honest Trailer's Fantastic Beast Crimes of Grindelwald. And I'm truly excited to check this out because I am a huge Harry Potter nerd. I love all the Harry Potter series, including the Fantastic Beast series. So, Screen Junkies, here we go. You guys did it again, and I am looking forward to this, so let's do this. People are so demanding. You love J.K. Rowling through the Harry Potter years. You knew her mystery novels were just a phase. You swore Cursed Child was better live. You defended her right to, uh, tweak some character details after the fact. You looked past all the flaws of the first Fantastic Beast to see its potential. And now, this, this is how you repay our loyalty? I am done standing for you, J.K. Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. You love the whimsical world of Harry Potter, a place where trying to kill a baby just marked him as a heroic chosen one. Now visit a new chapter where they just kill babies. As the wizarding world takes a full turn toward a dark universe for the bleakest, wettest, darkest chapter yet. Okay, did WB suck all the joy out of Harry Potter for Aquaman and Shazam? Because if this series ends up with Jacob blowing up the Ministry of Magic with a jar of pee, I'm gonna be very upset. All your favorite characters from the first Fantastic Beasts are back, like Newt's commander, who's gone from awkward beast lover to awkward chick magnet. Perhaps you should take off your shirt. His lizard face, like love that. interest. She has eyes just like a salamander. Don't say that. Master face maker Jacob, who's <laughs> still making those faces. And the dreamy Queenie, who heroically hypnotizes and kidnaps her boyfriend? Well, I'm curious when you were gonna wake me up after we had five kids? Huh. Well, at least she didn't join forces with wizard Hitler. Queenie, don't do it! Uh. But don't worry about anyone that the first movie established as the main characters of the series, because this one spends most of its time with characters you've never met or cared about. With multiple flashbacks of this lady's traumatic childhood, her love triangle with Newt and his grim suit wearing brother, the mission of this grim suit wearing assassin, and this grim suit wearing man who's hunting this grim suit wearing boy from the first one. Come on! This whole movie is just grim faced people in suits talking. Even Dumbledore is just Jude Law looking grim in a suit. Can we just go back to Ron Weasley making dumb faces at stuff? Harry! What? <sighs> ah, thanks, Weasley. But while everyone else is grimly talking, the evil Grindelwald is also mostly just talking. In living rooms, on roofs, in alleys, in creepy auditoriums, and while overlooking mountains at a very swanky ski lodge, all to unveil his master plan to prevent World War II? The power lost. How long will it take before they're turning their weapons on us? Wait, what? So what you're saying is that Wizard Hitler makes some good points? He wants what we want. Whew, boy, is there a Hogwarts Express off this franchise, or...? So toss away your wizard robes and literally suit up for a Fantastic Beast movie that's light on the beasts, but fantastically depressing, and start hoping for a chosen one to show up and save this franchise, because there's still three more of these slogs to go. Just tell me my story, then you can end it. Know what? I'm tapped out on fantasy prequels. Ugh, what else is on? Uh, Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings prequels? Fool me once, Hollywood. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm gonna watch them. Starring Emperor Palpatine, Sheldon Boy. Cooper. Hey, I'm gawking here. Get out of my head, Queenie. Black old son. American Horror Story. A high schooler's gonna behead this lady someday. Fun. Jude Law as Jude Law. The greater good. 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 Shut it! And attempting to remember the names of any of these new characters. Lee Leslie Lassat faces? Uh Eva Brana Cadavra and Wrigley Sweatbrow? Lieutenant Dale Badmage? I don't know, Frenchie McMystery Hat. Your name will be written in glory. Cool, cool, but uh like, what are their names? Her Dark Material. Her Dark Material. 
Leave it to Johnny Depp to introduce vaping to the wizarding world. I'm so done. Congratulations, <laughs> Spencer. <sighs> oh, screen junkies, what have you done? <clears throat> I honestly like this movie. Uh, I know this is just a spoof parody. I don't know what they really thought about it, but I personally liked it, and I don't know why. I know there's people out there that didn't like it because there's a lot of a lot of things that go on to the movie that don't make sense. That make sense. It appeals to the fan. That's what I'm trying to under to get to for people to understand. So it is what it is. It's truly to me it was a remarkable remarkable movie. Wow, well, can't talk, but you know. We all have our own opinion. Uh, but Screen Junkies, you guys did it again. <laughs> Thank you guys for making this video. Oh, man. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. Go check out Screen Junkies. They have a whole bunch of these honest trailers, and they're all wonderful. And they're all hilarious. <laughs> well, guys, hit the like button and subscribe. And I'm out of here.